I would like to talk about the difference between groups and components in this video. They are in a lot of ways very similar in, in how they react, um, but there's a couple of very key differences and it's important that you take note of those. What I have on the screen right now is just a simple group. If I didn't want this to be grouped, I could certainly explode it, and you'll see that it just goes back into its individual faces and edges, so groups are by no means permanent. And to make it a group, I can simply right-click and say Make Group Again. It's just that easy. I'm going to go over and make a copy of my original group, so now I have copy 1 and copy 2 of that group. I'm going to make another copy off to the side. But with this copy, I'm going to turn it into a component. You can take a group and turn it into a component. So I will right click and say make component. But you'll see when you click on them, they don't look any different. Once I've made a copy of my, or I've turned this one into a component rather, I'm going to make a copy of it. Take control, move it over. So basically what we have are copy one and two of a group and one and two of a component. If I came in and made a change to one of these groups, if I double click on it, go in there and make some kind of change, it only changes that one object. Okay, so groups work individually. If I come in and make a change to my component, copy one and two will update. And that's really the most powerful aspect of components versus groups. The components will update everywhere in your model, whereas each group is a standalone object. If at any point you decide that you want to make one component different from another, but not explode it or anything like that, you can go back in, right click, say make unique, and then on a certain level it will actually kind of act like that group in that you can go in and edit the one but not both. So the very important difference is that groups are just holding everything together, making it easy to select, making it easy to work with and move around. Components allow you to go in bring in objects, bring in pieces of furniture, and then make edits that not change just one, but all. So if you had a series of dining chairs or columns or something like that, you wouldn't just change the one instance, you would change all instances of that component. 